Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Science Chef Educational Series on Chemistry. In this video, we'll be looking at the first part of a series on redox reactions, the basic introduction to redox reactions. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning of redox reactions, define and identify oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen and hydrogen transfer, and define and identify oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons transfer and change in oxidation state. Go nowhere as we'll be right back after this timeout. Thank you for being there. If you want to learn about the basic concepts of redox reactions, please ensure you watch this video to the end. Redox reactions are reactions that involve two complementary yet opposing processes, namely reduction and oxidation. They are complementary in the sense that one cannot take place without the other. Examples of opposite and complementary words are give and take, husband and wife, parent and child, etc. As I stated earlier, in this tutorial, we will be seeking to identify and define oxidation and reduction using five different concepts. The first concept we will be looking at is the transfer of oxygen atoms. In terms of oxygen transfer, Oxidation is the addition of oxygen atoms to a substance, while reduction is a removal of oxygen atoms from a substance in a redox reaction. Let's consider the reaction between zinc oxide and carbon to form zinc and carbon monoxide. In this reaction, carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide because it gained oxygen from zinc oxide while zinc used to zinc metal because it lost an oxygen atom to carbon. Similarly, in the reaction between carbon dioxide and coke to form carbon monoxide gas, the carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide because it gained an oxygen atom from carbon dioxide gas, while the carbon dioxide gas is reduced to carbon monoxide because it lost an oxygen atom to carbon. The occurrence of oxidation and reduction half reactions in these two reactions make them redox reactions. Next is the transfer of hydrogen atoms. In terms of hydrogen transfer, oxidation is the removal of hydrogen atoms from a substance, where reduction is the addition of hydrogen atoms to a substance in a redox reaction. Consider the reaction between hydrogen sulfide gas and chlorine gas to form yellow deposits of sulfur and hydrogen chloride gas. In the reaction, hydrogen sulfide loses hydrogen atom to chlorine gas and gets oxidized to sulfur, while chlorine gas is reduced to hy hydrogen chloride because it gained a hydrogen atom from hydrogen sulfide. Also, in the combustion reaction of ammonia in limited oxygen to form nitrogen gas and steam, the ammonia is oxidized to nitrogen because it lost hydrogen atoms to oxygen, while the oxygen gas is reduced to steam due to the addition of hydrogen atoms from ammonia. The next concept is the addition or removal of electronegative and electropositive elements. Electronegative elements are elements, usually non-metals, that have the tendency of gaining electrons to become negative ions, while electropositive elements are elements, usually metals, with the tendency of losing electrons to form positive ions. Examples of electronegative elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, oxygen, iodine, sulfur, nitrogen, etc. 
well examples of electropositive elements are sodium potassium magnesium calcium aluminium iron zinc etc so in terms of electronegative and electropositive elements oxidation is the addition of electronegative elements or the removal of electropositive elements while reduction is the removal of electronegative elements or the addition of electropositive elements to a substance let's use the reaction between magnesium ribbon and chlorine gas to form magnesium chloride as a case study in this reaction magnesium is oxidized to magnesium chloride because an electronegative element has been added to it while chlorine gas is reduced to the same magnesium chloride due to the addition of an electropositive element similarly in the reaction between ion filings and sulfur powder to form ion 2 sulfide the ion undergoes oxidation to form ion 2 sulfide because an electronegative element is added to it while the sulfur undergoes reduction to form the same ion 2 sulfide because an electropositive element is added to it next let's look at the redox reactions in terms of electrons transfer oxidation is the loss of electrons by a substance while reduction is the gain of electrons by a substance in a redox reaction consider the electrovalent combination between sodium atom and chlorine atom to form sodium chloride the sodium atom loses its valence electron and gets oxidized to sodium ion as shown on the screen while the chlorine atom gains the electron lost by sodium and becomes reduced to chloride ion so the sodium atom undergoes oxidation while the chlorine atom undergoes reduction when studying oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons transfer always remember the mnemonic oil rig that is oxidation is loss of electrons reduction is gain of electrons lastly let's study oxidation and reduction in terms of change in oxidation number while oxidation is an increase in the oxidation number of an element reduction is a decrease in the oxidation number of an element in a reaction let's consider the reaction between zinc dust and copper 2 ions in this reaction zinc is oxidized to zinc ion as its oxidation number increased from zero to plus two while copper two ions is reduced to copper metal as its oxidation number decreased from plus two to zero similarly in the reaction between ion two chloride and chlorine gas to form ion three chloride it will be seen that the oxidation number of ion increased from plus 2 in ion 2 chloride to plus 3 in ion 3 chloride which is an oxidation while the oxidation number of chlorine decreased from 0 in chlorine gas to minus 1 in ion 3 chloride which is a reduction it is important to note that of the five concepts discussed in this tutorial the last two are the most significant because they can be used to explain or identify any type of redox reaction. Remember, whenever an atom or ion loses or gains an electron, there will always be a change in its oxidation number. In our next tutorial, we will be looking at how to identify oxidizing and reducing agents in a redox reaction. So, if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, kindly do so and turn on the notification button to be the first to get notified when the video is published. Thank you for watching.